Hello everyone, Kieran King here. If you are looking at investing in private companies, you'll often see the terms pre-money and post-money valuation thrown around. This can confuse some people, so today I'm gonna to break it down for you and build it up bit by bit. Firstly, we need to ask ourselves, what is valuation? Valuation, very simply, is the value of a company. In private markets, where there are not thousands of people arguing over the value of a company, there needs to be some scientific way of reaching a valuation, especially when a company is looking at raising funds or capital. And this can be done through various methods like DCF, uh, earnings revenue multiples, or, or even looking at the value of everything in a company's balance sheet. And I'll go through these various methods in different, different videos um, if, you, if you guys want me to. Anyways, as a little sidetrack, I want to draw for you a triangle. So at the top, I'm going to put valuation, valuation. I'm going to put uh, share price at the bottom left. And I'm going to put um, number of shares in the bottom right. If you have two of these values, you can essentially work out um, the third. If you have valuation and number of shares, you can work out the share price. You go to valuation, because it's on top, you divide by the number of shares and it will give you share price. If you have valuation and the share price, you simply divide the valuation by the share price and it will give you the number of shares. If you don't know valuation, you wanna find that out, but you have share price and number of shares, you simply times multiply these two together and it will give you the valuation. Easy. I digress. So let's go back to pre-money and post-money valuation. Pre-money. means before money is added, okay? Post money means after money is added. When a company goes out to raise money, it will first find out its pre-money valuation. That is, what is it currently valued at? And it will use various accounting methods like I spoke about before to get to that number. Then it will decide how much it wants to raise. And its post-money valuation is therefore its pre-money valuation plus how much it raises. It is the pre-money valuation plus how much it raises in equity. So let's look at a fictitious example. ABC Limited. Okay, it is a company, a private company, and today it is independently valued. Valuation is one million pounds. Now, let's say it wants to raise 200,000 pounds of capital in order to boost, um, boost its business ongoings. And it finds an investor who's willing to put this money in. Its pre-money valuation, as we just said, was one million pounds. It raises 200,000 pounds, so its post-money valuation is therefore one million plus 200,000, which is, in simple terms, 1.2 million. Are you with me so far? If you are, then great. Um, here's a question for you. How much equity has now been given away to this new investor who's put £200,000 in, i.e. how much of the business does this new investor now own? The new investor put in £200,000, okay? And, all, and what you have to do is then divide 200000 by the post-money valuation of £1.2 which will give you 0 0.166 recurring, or in other words, Let's round it up 17%. So that new investor now owns 17% of the, the, the business. What happens, however, if the investor changes his mind and doesn't invest 200,000, but invests 100,000? Well, let's replay this scenario. He puts in 100,000, so the post-money valuation is not 1.2, but 1.1 million. And by changing the sum at the bottom, we 
we can see that 100,000 divided by a post money valuation of 1.1 million now is 0.09 or 9% of the business that he owns or they own. Now this is a pretty uh, simplistic scenario and in reality it, it is a bit more complicated um, than this. When I look at investing in a company, one of the things I ask myself is, does their pre-money valuation make sense? Um, dig deep into their financials, question why they have plucked a 20 million pound pre-money valuation figure out of the air out of the air when they are not currently making any money. Valuation is an imperfect science and remember that you as an investor, you want to invest at the lowest valuation possible because what does that mean? It means that you have a greater stake in the company. This is generally speaking. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. And if you want to hear more from me, then smash that subscribe button. Stay safe and I shall see you soon.